Hola a todos, hello everyone. Uh, today we are gonna bake butternut squash and sour cherry sourdough bread. Basically, an autumn bread. Okay, so we're gonna start with uh, mixing uh, the leaven. Okay, the sourdough starter. the tepi water and everything with the with the hands okay just to dissolve everything obviously wash your hands <laughs> right and next we are gonna add um, honey okay so I'm gonna use the fingers to be honest Then uh, we are gonna start with the um, with the flowers. So we add a uh, bread flour. A uh, bread flour and then a uh, whole grain bread flour and a bit of rice rice flour. Okay, I'm not gonna add any salt. I'm just gonna follow the um, the method she recommends and basically I'm gonna like uh, mix it all with the hands till I have like uh, everything you know incorporated and I'll take a picture for you and then I'm gonna clean my hand with this um, and just gonna let it rest for 20 minutes after 20 minutes uh, we're gonna like uh, uncover and I'm gonna proceed to add uh, the salt and the dried cherries. Normally what we do is we sprinkle the salt. Okay. And now we sprinkle some, some water to dissolve the salt. Okay, just a little bit, not a lot. And then I'm gonna add the dried cherries. And then we are gonna mix again, making sure the salt has been completely incorporated. Uh, right, so this is looking very exciting because it's orange and has the, the cherries, the dried cherries on it. Uh, so what we're gonna do now is we are gonna cover and then we're gonna do the cut and fold technique. Uh, the book says, um, you know, do the cut and fall every 30 45 minutes for about two three to four hours uh, i think it's a bit longer than the usual because the normal bread she always you know the basic one she recommends is like for three hours but let's see how that goes so yeah i'm gonna put like probably just to relax a bit every 45 minutes to do cut and fall uh, and yeah so i'll see you in a bit Five minutes you know I uncover this and I'm ready to do the cut and fold you can wet your hand if you want uh, and basically it uh, just go from the bottom to the top all the way around okay so it's a bit difficult with one hand Okay, so we did all the way around with one hand and now we're gonna wait, well, we're gonna cover this again and wait for uh, another 45 minutes. I did four cut and folds, it's been almost four hours. This is how the dough looks like, so it looks very nice. Uh, and now we're gonna do the pre-shape. Basically, I'm doing the same as the sourdough uh, bread video so it's exactly the same steps so the only thing today we're gonna do it with uh, this um, butternut squash and uh, cherry bread 
So yeah, let's do it. Right, so we are gonna start. We want to do the pre-shape. Okay. And what we need to do is we're gonna encourage the dough. Vale. With care. To go onto the counter. So, I'm not sure you remember that uh, we need to um, just flower a bit. So, we need to get this this bead to the center. And this to the center. This side to the center. So, you know, four squares. And then the, the corners. Okay. Right, and now we're gonna flip it and let's put some flour maybe on the top a little bit. And we're gonna leave this to relax for 10 to 30 minutes and we come back. wait 10 minutes uh, because I don't have more time but if you can wait longer go for it uh, so let's do the final shape uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip okay okay and I think as I see show you on on the other video uh, we just go that way and then we try to go from one side to the center okay and then at the end you roll and all of this is to create tension okay and because I'm doing a round shape what I'll do is I'll just oh, Alexa stop so I'll just move the ball you know till I have lots of tension you can see it's quite high now so I created tension and I mean it's up to you you can like it, keep going okay so very easy what I'm gonna do is I bought finally <laughs> a Vaneton basket the size of these doors I'm gonna put my you know the, the cloths I'm gonna put a bit of flour okay just a bit and now, I'm not sure you remember, we need to put seam side up. Okay. Um, so, what I'm gonna do is maybe sprinkle a little bit of flour just in case. Okay. And then I'm gonna cover. Okay. And then I still have the plastic. Okay. So uh, I'm gonna put this on the fridge till tomorrow morning uh, because it is just so much easy uh, to score the bread the next morning uh, and also um, it's gonna like keep you know keep developing and keep proving overnight uh, so definitely if you can wait till the next day go for it uh, otherwise you should wait like three hours and then bake it Bye, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, morning, uh, this is the next day and uh, the bread is being outside of the oven for an hour, room temperature. And then I have like two uh, discs of parchment paper. So this, um, you know, avoids like the bottom to get burned. Uh, and yeah, I preheated the oven to 60 degrees with the um, cast iron inside so now I'm gonna score the bread and put them on the cast iron so this is how the bread looks like so we can see that it's being you know increasing in volume during the night okay right this is how it looks like and now we are going to try to score um, so 
the best way to score so we're gonna go that way and probably we're gonna go like one like that it's a bit difficult with the camera but yeah there we go Right, that's it, I'm not gonna touch it. Okay, so I'm gonna put this for 20 minutes. Uh, right, after uh, 20 minutes, I'm gonna lower uh, the oven to 240, I'll do it in a bit. And then uh, we need to take the, the lid off. Um, okay, so let's do that. Oh, look at that, right okay 20 minutes like that normally it should be 20 and 20 uh, but i just read on the instructions uh, that because the butternut squash got sugar on it uh, it can caramelize and it can burn uh, quick the surface so i'm just gonna keep an eye after 15 minutes and maybe if it's quite dark i'm gonna leave it as it is so i'll let you know right so yeah after i think 15 minutes is enough because it was getting very dark uh, and now uh, we're gonna take this out of the of the pan okay so this is our wreck how it looks like yeah okay so I'm gonna let it cool down and then I'm gonna make like a special uh, autumn toast.